It's already been 10 years since Taylor Swift came out with Taylor Swift. That makes me feel so young. So old. 10 years ago, my world was changed by Taylor Swift and I know I changed hers just as much. Let's throw back. This album reminds me of a different kind of Taylor Swift, one that had no blemishes on her reputation, and one that was this really relatable country girl with a lot of money, with a, Yeah. This album makes me think of high school. High school. Nostalgic, yeah. yeah. I feel like I listened to this with all of my sorority sisters. Oh, this makes me think of fairy tales and Joe Jonas. My first crush. Honestly, think about it. When that album came out, blonde, she's got all the makeup on, she's so beautiful in those dresses, you know, and it just like, it makes my heart flutter. Even when I listen to the album, I just smile because it's so happy for yeah. me. This is just a different era in time for Taylor Swift. This was the country version of Taylor Swift who wore cowboy boots with floral dresses and just let her wild hair fly in the air and now she like runs Apple Music or something. Apple Sometimes World. I just want her to release another album like this. Me too. Just for Taylor, kicks and come on. Oh my gosh, the cover art. It's just like terrible clip art. You know, it's like from one of those old computers, just like cut and paste art, which I'm into. I've never but when other people do mushrooms and then you see things is what that looks like. Oh. It looks like someone took acid, went in Photoshop and just designed a photo album cover and then was like, Taylor Swift's gonna go on that. This was back in the day when everyone's like album cover, like their first album looked was like just this. Their, yeah, you know? and it was just their face. Mm -hmm. It looks like they imprinted a picture of Taylor Swift onto a Lisa Frank binder. It oh. looks like she had the photo and then her mom was like, look, there's the Kinkos and they went in <laughs> And they got the like, like the custom paper, like that you pay like a dollar twenty nine like for. Yeah. yeah, and they photoshopped her face on the Kinko's paper. This seems very old, but I feel like it still holds up. You know it's old when there's a butterfly graphic yeah. on the cover. You know. Yep. This looks like it's probably framed in her parents on top of the fireplace in her parents' house, or some sort of like weird Instagram edit where you're like, I'm gonna do the butterfly filter. Prisma. Ooh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I honestly feel like if you look at this and then looked at a side by side, you would think maybe she got plastic surgery? It's called the glow up. It's when celebrities get money and they start playing into the fame game. It's called the glow up. That's beautiful porcelain face. That is Taylor Swift before she straightened her hair and like grew six feet. She looks nothing like that. She looks so sweet and like she's never broken someone's heart. Oh, it's so great. I think she looks gorgeous. She looks beautiful. Her hair is incredible. However, I like this cover because she's still relatable, but hot, but like the best friend that you want to have. She was like the cute, like, oh, curly hair, but gorgeous eyes and then still the girl next door. And, and the butterflies on the cover oh my just God, make you feel so like you cheesy. could be there. That's what I was just like, they're like holographic kind of. I like it. Know. This <laughs> album was about what all of her albums are about. Heartbreak, boys. Boys. Love and boys. Guys whose pictures she wanted to burn. Boys, boys, boys. Trying to like, find love. A lot of different boys. Being in a relationship, breaking up, just. The, Being in love with someone that was in a relationship with someone else. Yeah, just high school. <laughs> Having a crush on a boy, boys breaking up with her. Now, like her whole shtick is like, I'm making songs, but I won't tell you who they're about. But back in the day, she's like, not only will I make a song about that person, but I'm gonna tell you who it is. <laughs> Real subtle, ma'am. A boy taking her car, her taking a boy's car. It was all love songs. It was all love songs. All love songs. Basically, she had gotten her heart broken like 17 a times lot. before she turned 17 years old. Boys, boys, boys. Also about the mean girls in high school, the people that weren't nice to her because she was so talented and beautiful. I wonder where they are now. Just saying. Boys? Not being able to fit in in high school. 10 years later, she literally invented the hashtag squad, squad and squad goals. She's all about making sure her and her friends fit in or create their own little bubble. Breakups? I feel like I related to all of her personal stuff. I still relate to them. I go back to the album like, Taylor Swift gets me. Like, I didn't have a song either. I mean, I never had a boyfriend, but like, <laughs> if I did, I would totally relate. Boys. You think to my girl, I hope you think of me. I loved the Tim McGraw single. Tim you McGraw. think Tim McGraw? I hope you think my favorite song. Oh my oh. gosh, Tim McGraw. And she toured with Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw now is like, can I tour with you, please, Taylor <laughs> Swift? Can I play one show? Tim McGraw blew up. But back in the day, that was a great career move for her mm -hmm. because if you have a song called Tim McGraw, it's gonna get picked up. I didn't hear Tim McGraw until way later. Really? Mm -hmm. No, I was with her from the get-go. Oh, Baby girl, we go fan. back. I'm sorry, Taylor. <laughs> what I like about Tim McGraw is that it shows that she has a heart. In that song, she's looking 
looking up to someone, making a song about somebody, and I think that's like a really respectable thing. And it was just so cute and endearing that someone as adorable a teenager like Taylor Swift would love Tim McGraw. I think they're like, oh, you're so cute. Like little did they know. I always thought it was weird that she named her first single about an older male country star. Like that's how you start rumors. By the way, did you hear that Taylor Swift and Tim McGraw used to hook up? It's true. Here's a reason for the teardrops on my guitar. Teardrops on my guitar is what I remember. I feel like yeah. I just used to sing that alone in my car and just cry. Here's the reason for the teardrops on my guitar. I did like it. I ran at something and a something on a wishing star. Was that over Taylor Lautner? No, this is way, way pre Taylor Squared days. She was crying on her guitar teardrops and she was hit. saying that the guy who broke her heart was the reason for all the teardrops on her guitar. Whose name was Drew. I just, just wanted to know who Drew out. was. Yeah. Who's Drew? Where is he now? I've always wanted to date a guy named Drew so we could be Drew Squared. Don't ever do that. And it still gets played everywhere. Like in the supermarket, I hear teardrops on my guitar playing. And I think the song's special to her because she still plays it on tour. She's still crying on her Does guitar. Does she still actually cry? Who doesn't? I do remember in the video she had like fake teardrops, like uh, crystallized tears, which was cool. Our song is a slam and scream door, snake and alley, tapping on your window. My favorite one. Our song is a slamming screen doors. Yeah, yeah, I love that one. Our song is the first one I ever heard. Our song is a slamming screen door, sneaking out late, tapping on your window. That was cute. I liked that song a lot. It was a little country. Our song is a slamming screen door, sneaking out late, wearing on my t shirt. What's the thing you're doing with your voice? What is that? I don't know. When we're on the phone and you talk real slow. When we're on the phone and you talk real slow. Cause it's late and your mama don't know. Oh, I, I do know that song. It's, it was the best I've heard one. That. It was literally my okay. favorite one. I sang it at a fair and I got first place. Oh. <clears throat> don't judge what I just That's did. That's cool. Though, not <laughs> at all. That was back in my singing days. I didn't know I knew so many of these first album songs. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I'm a little embarrassed. I don't know any of these really. <laughs> really? I don't know them like that. that. Oh. Like the beat's fun, but yeah. it's also about like being in love, but sneaking around. Everything about it is perfect. And you heard it and you were just like, who's this? This is catchy. I yeah. want to hear more of this. That, then it was like, it's Taylor Swift. And then a phenomenon began. That's the thing about Taylor Swift though, is all of her songs were like that. There wasn't a bad one. No. So then every song you heard, you're like, I need to know who this girl is. And that's why so she's relatable. Taylor Swift. If you watch the music video, she's so ridiculously beautiful. I mean like, dude. 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 She also like, for a high school student, had like really romantic relationships yeah. because she got home at one point in the video and the guy had like laid out rose petals and I'm like, where is your mom? Like if my Aww. mom saw a guy lay out rose petals like in my family dining room, like, yeah, right. she would have smacked Hun, I think that was his... the art director. <laughs> that didn't happen in real life. You're just another picture to burn. Picture to burn! That was a good one. Just another picture to burn. You're just another picture to burn. Burn, burn, picture to burn. Just another picture to burn. Yeah, I know them all. You know it's them ridiculous. all. <laughs> I don't know any yeah. of these. Oh, I love Picture to Burn, the best revenge song ever. Oh, such a good song. That was like serious, like angry Taylor Swift. Like she was pissed off. Oh. That was the first time we saw Taylor Swift pissed Watch off. out for angry Taylor Swift. That's why she used to sing with an accent, like intentionally mm -hmm. so. All of a sudden, now her accent's gone. I'm not really sure what happened. Which is a beef that I actually have with country music in general. Do you talk like that or just sing like that? But I used to talk like this. You did used to talk like this. And it was very a very dark time in my life. But I will tell you, it feels so good to sing like this. It Does it? It just feels so free, like a vacation in your mail. This one is a little scandalous because she changed the lyrics. To what? What? It used to be, you tell all your friends I'm crazy, it's fine, I'll tell all mine you're gay. Yeah. And then she changed it because she didn't Wait, she like. did? Mm -hmm. No, the CD that I have still says gay. Well, yeah, it's I don't fine, think they changed an existing gay. CD, but if you download the song now, Bad not way. there. OG versions are not LGBTQ friendly. That's right. Yeah. You should have said no, you should have gone home. Should have said no, should have gone home. Should have thought twice for you. That was a really good song. I feel like this was like her first breakup song, her first like, I know you're not famous, but I'm gonna be famous someday, so don't cheat on me song. This song is about, you guessed it, boys. Should have said no, you should have gone home. You should have thought twice before you let it all go. Should have gone with her, then what'd you do with her? Get back to me. Should have said that. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, and it was about um the guy cheating on her. 
Yeah. And I felt like I related to it, but like I didn't. I didn't get you never been cheated on? No. Congratulations. <laughs> it would require being in relationships. She's available. <laughs> Slide into her DMs at Lily underscore Marston. Her first big public performance was Good Morning America. Mm -hmm. Some might say that that was what like catapulted her into stardom. And when she performed live on GMA, the whole world stopped and listened. The Housewives of America are the ones who watch Good Morning America religiously, and they're the ones who have got the wallets to spend the money and to buy those Taylor Swift singles, and it worked out for her. I wonder if she was nervous on that very first Good Morning America appearance. Like, I wonder if she was just like shaking in her size 11 boots, or like, I wonder if she was like confident. She was just like, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is me. I feel like ultra confidence is something that you have to have in this kind of industry. It's a projection. I I think anyone has a reasonable amount of nervousness, but I think it's that nervousness with gratitude. Like, how could you not be nervous for something like Good Morning America? But at the same time, how could you not be unbelievably stoked that you're there? There are huge differences so between many. Taylor then and Taylor now. Name one. Taylor then was like the relatable girl next door. Now... She plays into the fame game. Still love her. Still love her music too. But not so relatable. No. The differences between Taylor then and Taylor now, men, the men in her life has really gone up. We went from singing about some guy who she's gonna tell all of her friends that he might be gay to Calvin Harris. Hello. I think Taylor now is much more fierce than Taylor back then. I think Taylor back then was really definitely a sheep. She's kind of fierce, she's mm -hmm. unstoppable. She's kind of like a girl you don't wanna mess with. Taylor Swift was super innocent back in the day. Okay. And now, scandal follows her everywhere she goes. Famous friends? Taylor Swift has a squad. There's an entire movement of friendship that Taylor Swift has renamed. That's huge. Before it was just her and her mom. She was singing a lot more about guys breaking her heart. Now her songs are about guys breaking her heart. See the difference? <laughs> I think her hair has been blown out so many times that it doesn't even know its real roots. She's completely forgotten her roots, let's be real. She's not country at all. There's not a country not all. strand of hair left on that head. Money, she's gotten some cash under her belt. Ellen DeGeneres endorses her, which is huge. I love her. Crop tops, this Taylor would never show her belly button. Taylor now, this is her belly button. That's life, just looking at it. God, I love Taylor Swift so much. Do you guys, let me know in the comment section below. Let all of us know. And while you're down there, just subscribe for more Taylor Swift. Our life would not be the same without Taylor Swift. You know all that weird food that people eat in the military? Click to the left because we are eating it on cheat day or click to the right for celebs who have starred in music videos.